I'm back for another video because it's probably the last thing I'm gonna stall for a while and then I'm gonna be gone for a bit because this the only place I can see that sends stuff is like third party stuff. Some companies are like mostly closed, so I can't do anything about it. I'm just gonna get started with this video. I'm gonna start off by saying that I am gonna do this. Yes. There's more ricer mods from for my car. I bought this used off of eBay. So, uh, luckily, I tested it to make sure it works. The only problem is, it's used. Really, 3M. It's it's screwed. So, and I literally just ran out of 3M based off my last video. So now I have to remove this. What a pain, pain in the ass. As I continue to do this nonsense i actually want to know like what else should i do to my car i already know like people is gonna say like oh do some engine mods put an exhaust on it for me i kind of want to just do cosmetics for this car um obviously i drive every day i rather not make it unreliable i mean adding exhaust would be fine for me but i'm gonna get i'm trying to figure out how to make a custom exhaust that's somewhat loud but not too obnoxious and obviously i want to make it legal like pass emissions sort of thing so i'm trying to figure out how to make a custom exhaust but most places are like closed as of right now so i can't be doing anything that requires welding and i don't know how to weld obviously so i'm trying to find someone that can do it for me for like maybe someday soon i will do the exhaust but i'm trying to figure out like what's the best way to do it like i already know that you can do what was it mid muffler delete and then replace the resonator for i think it was magnaflow or dynamax i don't remember but I will find a way, but let me know in the comments below what else cosmetically I could do to my car because I'm honestly running out of ideas. And this is for shits and deals. Plus, if you see my DIY on how to make custom uh, football lights, honestly, I got bored of it because it's just one color. This can be multiple colors, and I kind of just want to do what I want with it, so, yeah. Alright, so I got all the 3M off, or double side tape, whatever you want to call it. Now, I gotta plug this into the secret port. So, most accurate TOs, or if you do know, like, accurate TOs, we have one right here, and one in... There, in here this one i'm really using for my music because it's my uh fm transmitted bluetooth thing and there's one in here let me just move all this up so this one right there i don't know if everyone knows this about activities i mean i just found out about it but we have to plug it in here, right? Right, 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 right. Let me just get this thing up. Okay. That's how it is. People assume it's like, you can't close it. It's a wire. There is actually a way to actually bring the wires out. Let me untangle this first and I'll show you. All right. I got everything. Almost everything untangled, just that little patch that's zip tied. So, I'm gonna plug this thing in, that way it doesn't move. I hope that's secure, but okay. This goes in. And where's. I guess I'll throw everything in, I guess. But I'm gonna find the end of the trail. For these football lights and yes. there's a little gap here that you can start feeding wires through it like i 
can try to show you, but it's just hard to do with one hand. Okay, but I'll try my best to show you. It's best to try to move everything out of your center consoles. That way everything doesn't go flying everywhere. So you need to have this open, right? And then you can just start feeding the wire through. Just like that. And I'm gonna do it for every for all of it. Because I need all those LEDs out. Just like this. Here, I'll give you I'll try to give you guys a better look. And then see that little crevice where my LED bulbs are coming out? You can feed the wires through it. Just like that. I'm not sure if I gave you guys a, a good view, but basically, this is what it looks like. Plug it in, wires got tucked up in these little crevices. These, that's how you tuck it in. Through. It flows through here. Easy enough, right? But since these are like not just straight up wires, these are like light strips, so I'll need to pull up a little bit more. Probably have to cut that zip tie. Yeah, I had to cut that zip tie, so let me cut that first. Right. Now I can. So, try to give yourself as much room because you never know how much you need. Exactly. It's just like that. Alright, I just found out the reason why I couldn't close it. Because this wire is too thick compared to an iPhone wire. It's a little bit the iPhone wire is a little bit thinner than this, so it can't close it. But it's totally fine because there's another way to get these wires out. So just I just have everything plugged in. Here's a little notch here, so I can just feed my wires out, just like that. see comes out there which is totally not a big deal because I can easily tuck it between the seats so now since everything can be open just like this I'll probably find a way to secure this a little bit more that way it doesn't the wire doesn't fall out every time when I open it oh I don't think it will fall out if I open it so I think it'll be okay but I'll find a good placement for this maybe it'll just be right here I don't know. I don't know yet. Something to think about as of right now or later. But as of right now, I'm going to need to start finding a placement for these guys. So usually when you wire, you want any, if it's close to you, you have the, basically, yeah, it's easier to, for me to explain. Where's the, so this is the end piece. So wherever this end piece is, it should be the furthest away from the outlet. That way you can actually have um, maximum use for the wires, basically. The one that's closest to the outlet would be this guy. This guy should be under the driver's side seat, for me at least. Every car is different, so you have to find your own placement for these. And depending on your seats, you might not even need the 3M. You might need zip ties. If I bought this new, then I, I would it would have came with zip ties. But since it's used, I will have to put on my own zip ties and my own 3M, which is totally fine because I have my hundred pack of zip ties. Got for like two bucks at Harbor Freight, so it's not bad. The 3M tape though, uh, it's pretty pricey, 25 bucks, but I use that for like almost everything, so 
should be okay with me. Anyway, enough chit chat. I am going to put this on. I'll see if I can time last it. But then again, I already have another video that I previously did it on. Some of my brother's car, so. Should be relatively easy. Alright, so it's easier if it's... For some people to draw a diagram, but for me, it's like super easy. All I do is just pull the whole entire wire out. This one will go under this seat. And where is it? This one will go under there. I feed the wire. So wherever is the next one? Right there. We'll go onto the passenger side. And then the last one will go under the seat. Easy enough. Like I said, everyone's is different. Everyone's placement of outlet is different. If yours is in the cigarette port, easy enough. You start with there, go here, under here, and there. But everyone's different, so I want to see how I can start doing this. I'm looking under the seat and there's not really a good placement for these guys so I might have to zip tie something but there's not really much to zip tie under here plus I kind of want to see where it will glow because I want to have like even coverage all over the floor so I'll probably have to test it out but I'll probably move on to the front first to find a good placement. Should be a lot easier than doing it finding one back here. Alright, scratch that. Um, I, it's best to start from the end piece first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a good mounting place for this. But before that, I'm going to put all the wires directly under the seat. Because I don't want any wire showing. And I'll have to find out how to put all this under here. Should be easy. I hope. I just don't want to break any clips because this car is like 16 years old as of right now. So I found my solution. This is my solution. Since under here it's carpet. So we're going to be using this other side of the Velcro. Not going to be using the soft side. Going to be using the specky side. Going to put the Velcro on here. The tape will be sticking onto here. And then it should stay up. Luckily I didn't have to run to the store. And I have extra. I also fix up here. Yeah, I know it's dirty, but this was also coming out as well. I couldn't find any solutions how to fix it. And it just says it's only been held up by Velcro. So that's all I could do, which is totally fine, I guess. But if I use the uh, sunroof again, it will definitely fall off. 
because that I can tell that is not holding up. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get continue with this. So this is what it looks like. Only put it on the edges because I think this will hold up pretty well. And good thing about this, it's removable, so I can fix my positioning on these. And I probably gonna tuck these wires somehow because I don't want this to show. Oh, easy. Let's tuck it into the seat. Just like that. Looks looks like nothing was there. Nothing was there. Now this sh should be the hardest part of installing these is to start tucking all this in here shows nothing here and just the small wire in the black area so i'm gonna find out how to tuck this i think it should be yeah that's easy to tuck here's the problem but i'll figure it out i don't really want to remove this but if i have to i'll do it i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie it was kind of a mission but this is all the wires that you would see just that if you look closely you can see it right there i'm going to try to tuck that in because i don't like it exposed and i think it's kind of squishing the wire so i don't want it to cut then i got it all through here i didn't have to remove it i just lifted it up hurt my fingers so and then i should be able to put this up easily almost done almost done I got this side finished up kind of a pain a little bit of wire showing but I had to take it as I had to zip tie this up here because I don't want to use any tape because I don't know for some reason uh, there was hold up. so for some reason all these extra wires because I'm trying to account for people trying to push this chair back so there should be enough wires for that i'm trying to go all the way around but then when i get to the driver's side there wasn't enough room so i just now just barely have enough room just to put this under This thing is supposed to be universal, but this Acura TL is not that big, and it just barely fits. That's astonishing to me, like that, how much it would take. I just barely did it, and I have wire, a wire showing. I don't like that. I want to try to keep it somewhat cleaner than that, but I guess I don't have much of a choice Look, barely can put it under it is what it is I'm gonna try to finish this up 
I'm still going to use the Velcro uh, double sided tape sort of method because uh, I don't want to use double sided tape and then just like completely rip it off. At least with the Velcro, it's removable. Then have the seat, it's going to be the same and it should be done. It's done. Kind of a pain. Didn't have enough wires, so the only problem would be is if if the drivers if the driver decide to bring his chair back, it will rip this off. I need to find a way to took these wires because I don't want these to show. I'll figure it out in a later time. I'll just probably leave that for now. I don't think anyone would kick that. And it, then again, I don't know why anyone would do that. But that concludes it and it will work because I already tested it. But I wish I could show you at night. I will need to fix that wiring, but everything is good. This is the end of the video, and I honestly, I appreciate everyone that like, comment, and subscribe, even on my past videos, which is kind of weird to me, but um, I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. So, so far away. I think I've been working on this for like three years. Probably, I don't know, but it was like during, no, before my accident, I believe. I'm not really sure, but thank you again. And I would say, please give this video a thumbs up and leave something in the comments because honestly, I interact with everyone that's, um, that's, that says anything under there, except for anything that's hurtful because that hurts my feelings. And please subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.